American consumers hold more than 16 trillion, with a T, dollars of debt, which adds up to a mountain of cash owed. Many consumers turn to debt and credit repair companies, and many of them leave the consumer, leave the consumer worse off than when they started. Roseanne Freitas, PR and Communications uh, Manager for the BBB, is here to help us out with this. So uh, this is another one where people really are desperate for help sometimes because they're in over their head and they want to improve their credit rating. They want to get rid of the debt. But, of course, there are people out there to take advantage of them. You did a study. W what does the study say? So the study, we looked at all the data that we received in between 2020 and 2023. We received 12,700 complaints to the Better Ooh. Business Bureau with 2.4 million in losses just to us. That doesn't include the Federal Trade Commission numbers. So that's what we saw as far as the numbers went. Wow, 12,700 complaints. What type of practices are consumers complaining about with this? Well, unfulfilled promises. So when they sign on with it, they're com promised a certain amount, and that does not happen. Uh, one incident we had that showed they were going to pay $27,000. That would take off their debt. And after paying almost that $27,000, when they looked at it, only $5,000 had gone towards the debt. The rest had gone to fees. So we have unfulfilled promises, absorbent fees, and then they promise they can fix your credit score very quickly. And that just can't happen. Credit repair takes time. And a lot of this credit repair you can do on your own, right? You don't need to pay someone to do it. There are a lot of good tips out there. I mean, sometimes I just call somebody and say, hey, you made a mistake, and boom, I got 10 more points. You know, it's easy as that, right? It is. But that's one thing people don't realize. Even if you're in debt, you don't need someone else to help you out of that. There, and if you do, there's a lot of things online that are free you can read. But remember, you can make those phone calls to the creditors to ask for you know, forgiveness on some of the loan, for those repayment options. But you can do a lot of it yourself. And you have to remember, this isn't a quick fix. It does take time. Yeah. But first of all, know your rights, what those rights are if you are in debt. So you do need to do a little bit of homework on that. Sure. Um, and just don't buy into this quick fix. Someone will make everything magically go away because they have to work with the creditors too. And there's no guarantee those creditors are gonna forgive anything. <laughs> so, yeah, you got to know what's going on. What red flags should consumers look out for with this? Well, when they start to promise you, just really sounds too good to be true, right? right. You want to be careful that they're not saying, look, we can erase this off your credit score. You can't really erase it unless it was fraudulently put there, like not fraudulently, right. but more an error made. Sure. Then you can have it removed. But if you actually made that debt, you're not going to get it removed. So there's no quick and easy fix. So when they start to promise you that, also if they ask for a fee up front, because according to the Federal Trade Commission in 2010, they changed it and they actually can't charge you until they get some of the work done. So be careful ask. of those hidden fees too. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that because that seemed to be the key coming out of this reading everything that you sent to me. It's like the paid up front, that just sounds like a red flag there. Exactly. And it's not legal, correct? And it's not legal. So be really careful when they start to do that and also any of those hidden fees that they might try to work their way around it. There are companies out there that are legitimate and ethical. It's just those predatory ones that do take advantage of the situation. You really need to be careful. You do. We got to look out for the, like you said, if it sounds too good to be true, it, it just sounds bad that you got to pay someone to get rid of your debt when you can just funnel that to your debt and you're probably going to be better off. Exactly. So it does make sense to come up with a plan, go ahead and start paying down that debt instead of paying someone else because that's more money you're that's forking you, out. Yeah. Wow. They're smart. They're smart, Roseanne. They know how to entice us. They really do because when you're in debt, it's very, it's scary. It's emotional and it's really hard to get out of because, yeah. you know, we think about consolidating loans and stuff like that, but that's really hard to do at that point because your credit score is not so good. It compounds it. And that's the thing is the credit score is so big these days that you, all you want to do is get that, get that down and it, it takes time. I think that was the biggest mm -hmm. tip I got out of this. It takes time. Be patient with it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chevy. Appreciate